Aloha everyone, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady. Today I'm going to show you how to do Chinese boiled peanuts. Very, very simple. And it's very popular, especially in Hawaii. But it's kind of expensive. But uh, when you see how easy it is, you'll, you'll want to make it. Uh, ingredients are all here and I'll show it to you. So what I have here about two pounds of peanuts, raw peanuts, and you usually can buy it in Chinatown in a bag. And uh, so what I did was I kind of rinsed it out, but there's really no dirt on it, but just give it a quick rinse, put it in a colander, and then put it in a bowl or a pot and cover it with water and it floats. So you probably have to use a weight like a a plate that fits in there or a pan and then weight it down with some canned goods so that the peanuts won't float up okay and then you can soak it for one to two days and the peanuts unfortunately we don't know how fresh they are so they may be sitting around for a long time and they may be very dry so you'll see uh, afterwards I'll tell you how long to cook it because I like peanuts very soft. Some people like it crunchy. I don't like it that way. So I cook it a long time. And like I said, you never know until you cook it to see how fresh the peanuts are or how dry they are. If they're very dry, then they'll take uh, longer to cook. But you can't tell by looking at the peanuts. And when you soak the peanuts, you can't really see the inside. So you just have to kind of guess. So just take the peanuts like this and soak it with water and weight it down. Now, I'm gonna show you some peanuts. You see, because I didn't have time, I left it on the counter and soaked it for about three days, but I changed the water in between. And so, because of that, so it doesn't matter. After that, I put it in the refrigerator, rinsed it out and put it in the fridge. And then when I was ready to cook it, then I take it out and put it in the pot. Now the process is very easy. There's only seven ingredients. Now some people use more, some people use less, but this is what I came up with. One of the ingredients that I have is called Szechuan peppercorns. It's unlike your typical black peppercorns that Americans use. It has kind of a tangy taste to it and maybe a little bit of burn to it, but it's not hot. And it comes in a bag like this, and it's called dried red prickly ash. And they sell it loose like this. It, this is a lot, but this is the smallest bag that they had, but it keeps a long time. So I have a lot of dried things that you can see here in the closet, but it doesn't spoil, okay? So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna add all the spices, the peppercorns, some Chinese five spice, some star anise, some cinnamon sticks, some bay leaves, some coarse salt, and some fresh ginger that I just, you don't have to peel it, just take a hammer or a cleaver or something and just smash it up. And that's it. So these are all the spices. Somebody asked if you can use any kind of peanuts because I know in the regular grocery stores, they sell whole shell peanuts, but they're roasted. So you don't want that. You want the raw peanuts. So you have to look a little closer in Chinatown. Then after all the spices, I have here two quarts of water, but I'm not sure if we use it all. Pour the water. And I think I'll just use it all. The peanuts are floating, but that's okay because you want it to really cover it. So I give it a quick mix and I'm just gonna cover it. And I'm gonna put it on a stove, bring it to a boil on high, and then after that, simmer it for one to five hours. You heard it right. Because like I said, I like peanuts really soft. So I'll test it every so often. After maybe two hours, I'll test it and I'll eat one. 
And if it's not soft enough, I'll cook it longer. And like I said, the five hour time might be because the peanuts are kind of old, so they're kind of hard. So you can be the judge on that. The peanuts are old, but it doesn't mean that it's bad. It's just that you don't know how long they've had it on the shelf. So I'll see you after this cooks. I said that in the regular pot on the stove, it takes about anywhere from one to five hours. But who wants to wait for three, four, five hours waiting for this to cook when everybody wants to eat it? So I've decided to use an instant pot and we'll try to cook it for one hour and then test it out and see how it is. So I'm just gonna pour all of this into the instant pot. So pour it in. Okay, okay. just kind of mix this up. Get everything down there and put it on. Close the cover. It took about three and a half minutes for the button to go down. Now it's safe to open. Let's look at it. And it smells so good. You can smell all those spices. Ginger, star anise, cinnamon, the Szechuan peppercorns, and the other things. So let's take some out and try it. Oh, looks really nice. You see, now it's ready to eat. So I'm going to peel it open. And you can see how soft it is. See? Now, mm, really soft, just melts in your mouth. This is the way I like it. Now, if you want it crispy, like some people do, then try it for maybe half hour or 45 Remember, minutes. This was done in the instant pot for only one hour. And if I had it on the stove, I'd have to cook it at least two hours to five hours, depending how soft I want it. Now I'm gonna open one and show you how soft it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mash it with a spoon or you can even do it with your fingers, okay? You see? This is really good for people who have chewing problems, swallowing problems, because it's so soft, it just mushes in their mouth. And I have a good friend who doesn't have any teeth, and she can't eat regular roasted peanuts because she can't chew it. But with this, she's in Hawaii, Diane. But I wish I were there, Diane. I would give you a bunch of these to eat, and she would be so happy. These boiled peanuts are very nutritious. There's no oil, there's no sugar. And it'll be great for poo-poo parties, uh, just for you to snack on, give the kids to take it to school, have it at an introduction to a, a potluck or party. People would love this. In Hawaii, we always look for different kind of appetizers, and this one is a winner. I know some of you are having difficulty finding the recipes, but I want to tell you that I have a website, and every recipe is on there. So you just go to hawaiispicklelady.com. If you like this video, let me know and smash that like button. Comment and subscribe if you haven't, because it really helps my channel. Mahalo and thank you for watching. See you on the next video.